Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, we caught a Poliwag after coming to this route and getting our Super Rod. And off screen, I've been leveling him up, and I remembered off screen that he evolved to level 25. So, he is right here at level 24, and he only needs 100 experience left to level up. So, before we do the speed montage of this route, we're gonna get in a fight, and we're gonna evolve him twice. And then, after that, we're going to go ahead and speed through this route. Now, I'm going to speed through all the way to the next city. So, this is going to be a pretty long speed montage, unless I just decide to um, avoid all fights, which I may or may not do. I can always just come back here later and, you know, get these fights done. So, I might do that just to make it so it's not, like, an astronomically long video. But, I don't know yet. I probably will, just because, I mean, it's not so much that um, I'm afraid of making a long video, it's just it making a long speed montage where there's nothing but speeding up. So that's kind of boring. But anyway, Poliwag's learning Double Slap, which I do not care about because I already have his move set planned out. Did not learn Double Slap. Okay. So, uh, Sandman um, and um, Primeape, or Mr. Norris, I should say, both went up um, a level. I cleared out the area just before Rock Tunnel, and I also cleared Rock Tunnel off screen. That's how I got, um, you know, Poliwag up to level 24. So, all that is now done. So, all previous routes have been 100% cleared out, unless I just forgot some trainers in, like, the past. But anyway, that one got away! I know what didn't get away! Poliwag's evil. Oh, what am I talking about? That's stupid. Anyway, Poliwag is evolving. Whoopee. Yay. Poliwag evolved into Poliwhirl! And yeah, I'm not waiting for uh, nickname suggestions to do this, just because I want to get this done now. So, yeah. And hey, man, we've had a Poliwhirl for all of two seconds. Who needs him anymore? Let's evolve him. What? Poliwhirl's evolving! Screw you, Poliwhirl. No one likes you. But we do like your big brother. Yeah! Poliwhirl evolved into Poliwrath! Awesome. I love Poliwrath. Alright, so Poliwrath is a very unique Pokemon. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, that's not it. Aha, there we go. Uh, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath. Um, Poliwrath is... Um, it is a... Um, blah, 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 it's a water fighting type. I believe... See, there's type 1, type 2. See, people. a lot of people were asking if Pokemon did have dual types in this game. Well, there you go. They do have dual types. So yeah, Poliwrath is water fighting. It is the only Pokemon with that particular dual type to exist until the fifth generation when they invented uh, Keldeo, which is, I also, I believe, geez, which is also, I believe, water fighting type. So yeah, anyway, this is why I got that second submission TM. We're gonna teach it to Poliwrath because when you evolve a Pokemon with a stone, it will, sub it will stop learning moves um, via leveling up. So you're kind of forced to use uh, TMs for that. But that's totally fine. I don't mind going out and buying a submission TM. So, this is pretty much his moveset from here on out. Uh, Bubble Beam will be uh, changed to Surf once we get that HM. But for now, uh, his moveset's pretty much set. <laughs> his moveset is set. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, his stats right now don't really compare to the other guys. He's not very fast, he's not very good specially, but he's got great HP, great defense, and good attack. So, he's not a bad Pokemon, he's just not, like, amazing. But, don't worry, he really will come into his own. So yeah. Anyway, I will now begin the speed montage. I'll... <laughs> begin it with failure! Alright, anyway, music time!
are finally done. At 19 minutes in, we're finally done with that route. And even then, I gotta go back out there and beat the rest of those trainers to get all the experience I missed. Oh, I couldn't take my favorite shortcut because I didn't bring Slave along with me, but oh well. Here we are in Fuchsia City. This is the city of the pink color, I don't know. Um, this is where the fifth gem is, and also where the Safari Zone is. That actually, the Safari Zone contains our fifth team member. Oh, wait, yeah, we've... Yeah, we've got four. Okay, so yeah, that is the fifth team member. Yeah, we're coming up on... We're getting new Pokemon left and right, aren't we? But anyway, I want to stop off there and heal. Um, I'll take you a little tour of the city, um, just for people who don't really know what this place is like. Um, down there, along there, you have the gym and the Pokemon Center and just a couple other buildings. I think the move deleter might be there, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, what is this? This is... Nothing important, I don't think. So, I'm not going to bother with it. However, there is an important building down here. I believe it's that building right there. Let's see. Safari Zone Warden's Home. Yes, it is. This is important. Right here. You want to come in and talk to this man. Uh, no. Huh? Huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he can't talk, and there's a Pokeball behind this rock here that we can't get to. It's not as if we can just move one of those potted plants next to it. No, no, no. We gotta push the, like, the freaking 26-ton boulder right in front of it. But, okay. Uh, that guy is missing his teeth, and we're gonna have to go and find his teeth. I wish they would tell you, like, a little bit more directly to do that, but oh well. That's fine. Uh, all around here, you can see, like, little exhibits. There's Pokemon, there's a Clefairy in here. Oh, no, no, that's a Chansey. Catching one is all up to chance. <laughs> Get it? It's the rarest Pokemon in the game. It is a 1% chance to encounter it in the Safari Zone, in one area. There is a spot later on where you can find them normally, and they don't have a chance of running away. But... That is way, 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 way later in the game. So, yeah. Anyway, in here you got your standard stuff. Ultra Balls are added in, so that's pretty cool. I don't need them right now, though, so I'm going to leave it. Um, that right there is a Lapras. Here, let's see. And yes, name Lapras, a.k.a. the King of the Seas. That's a transport Pokemon, whatever. Who uses Lapras? Pfft, nobody. Nobody but noobs uses Lapras in their freaking files. Hey, look, I think that's Omanyte. Yep, Omanyte. A Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil. You remember the spot, um, the Helix fossil we could have gotten at the beginning of the game? Well, that's what it becomes. And, let's see, I think this might be Kangaskhan? Yep, Kangaskhan. A maternal Pokemon that raises its young in a pouch on its belly. Yeah, there's Kangaskhan. He's very, very, or well, I should say she. She is very, very rare in the Safari Zone. Not quite as rare as Chansey, but still really rare. And this is the Safari game. Pokemon you catch! Whatever. Uh, you come in here, you pay 500 bucks, and they give you 30... It's either 30 or 20 Safari Balls, which are equal in power to Great Balls. You go in there, and you have a limited amount of steps you can take. And whatever you catch in there, you get to keep for free. Oh, well, not for free. You keep... Whatever, you know. You get to keep the Pokemon you catch in there. So, we're going to be stopping by in there. Um, there are th uh, two reasons to go in there for me. One is to advance the plot, because we have to go in there. And two is because there's another Pokemon I want that's in there. So, yeah. Uh, I think now that we're in Fuchsia City, I'm going to go and end it off. And in the next part, um, I will probably have killed all those trainers out there. And uh, we can move on into the Safari Zone to catch our fifth team member, along with advancing the plot. So yeah, see you guys then, and sorry for the super, super long speed montage.